right, Adventure Africa. Your safari starts now. All right, we got African savanna elephant. Oh yeah. Gorgeous elephants. See, African elephants have the much larger ears than the Asian elephants, and are typically larger in size. Got the elephant watering hole. And water is life. Got landscapers of the savanna. All right, the elephants in action stadium. Well, not really a stadium, but you know what I mean. This is where they would give demonstrations about the elephants. The elephants do not do tricks, but they'll show how they care for the animals. I've seen this at other zoos. They use it to demonstrate on how they, they check the elephants out. So it's very educational. I'm gonna go inside the elephant care center. Right inside the elephant house. This is where the elephants go during the evening. Super sized care. It's just a layout of the elephant care center. Yeah, right. Looks like one of the tusks is broken. Elephants in Africa are very prone to poaching, unfortunately. These magnificent animals are killed for their tusks in the illegal ivory trade. Nowhere on earth can ivory be legally traded now. So it's basically all underground. All right, we've got Eastern Bongo. Bongos are my favorite type of hoof stock. Love their nice white stripes they got on them. With the last bongo. All right, and with the bongo, we got Gray Crown Crane. Look at those lovely yellow feathers on top of her head. Wish I can say I had a hairdo like that. Also with the bongo, we got Kenya Crested Guinea Fowl. I do see one of them. I'm not sure if there's more in here. This happens to be the one that I see. Trying to get you a better view of the bongo. All right, we came to Apollo Plains. Web of life. Of course, we're going to see Impala. And sharing a habitat with the Impala or ostrich. All right. These are cute little animals. There's the ostrich. Hi, ostrich. How you doing, ma'am? And I said, ma'am, because it's a female ostrich, you can tell by the dull brown plumage. But birds, the females are usually a dull brown because they don't have to be nice and vibrant because the males come to them. So the other ones have to have all the nice flashy feathers. Peafowl that we saw walking around, prime example of that. All right, so I see two ostriches in here. Got endless plains. All right, we got domestic yak. All right, look on the yak habitat. All I see is a bunch of Canada geese. All right, so there is a secondary habitat with the gate open, and that's where the yak are. Got really long hair. Well, the one on the right does anyway. All right, African spurred tortoise. See a few of them in here. 
Now, in case you are not aware, I have an African spur tortoise named Sheldon. And he's about this size now. Chills out my backyard. I got a decent sized backyard. We got a back turned camel. Oh, got a little baby also. Oh, wow. Got cool camel stuff. Yeah, it's definitely the male. The baby is so cute. It's my first time seeing a baby camel. All right, I can see some giraffe. She's got a reticulated giraffe. I do have giraffe feeding. Very, very cool animals. A giraffe feeding experience, $5 per person. All right, inside of the giraffe house. This is just a small portion. It goes all the way in the back there. This is where the giraffes come at nighttime. All right, so in addition to the train, they have a sky lift. So I'm gonna follow this. So I can go for a ride on us. I'm gonna follow the pathway. So following the pathway right past the domestic yak. Came back around the pathway. Baby's up walking around. Oh, we got a Rhea. Jaguar. Last time I was here last summer, so the tapir was feeling Baird's taper. And alpaca. Got the alpaca. There's the Rhea. The Rhea. Oh, it tapers all the way over on the side. There we go, there's the taper. I know what you're thinking. How could they put a jaguar in the same habitat as these other animals? Not to worry. Jaguar is actually in a separate habitat up above that is separate with a moat. The jaguar can't get over to these other animals. I think I see the jaguar. I think that's a jaguar. So yeah, this is a jaguar. Uh, several other people. One guy says head moved. So yeah, a jaguar cannot get to these other animals. All right, Sky Safari is $4. All right, gonna go on the Sky Safari. All right, on the Sky Safari. Now, even though this ride doesn't really serve a purpose as in seeing different animals that you wouldn't normally get to see, it's still a fun ride. Gives you a different perspective. I mean, at least these habitats here, you do get to see, you know, the animals a little bit better, maybe, possibly. Like the llamas. I don't even see the taper now. Oh, 
on. You can see the baby camel a little better. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Get two little baby humps. I see the tiger. I see the tiger. I'm glad the rain held out, or didn't actually rain. It drizzled a little bit. The line for this earlier was just too long. So this is being done on my rewalk. Not many people here, because as soon as it, it started to drizzle, a lot of people left in mass. Still a lot of people here, but nothing like it was earlier. Anyway, see the yakety yaks. Yeah. Yakety yaks. See the elephants. Ooh. Elephant up nice and close. Oh, oh, oh. Elephant going potty, don't want to show that. Hey, elephant! Spin around. There's the Impala. Looks like all the giraffes are maybe inside because, oh, never mind, I do see them. They were hidden by the trees. There we go. Alright, so it's not going to be boring. It's basically the same thing that I showed you on the way over. It's just going back. A little better view of the axe. Not many zoos have yak. I've only seen it a few other times. Okay, big cat country next. All right, so there is a main entrance to this area and there are two exits in addition to that to come to the animal exhibits outside. All right, so coming along the side, I actually do see the jaguar. So what I was showing you from the other side was not in fact the jaguar, but this is the jaguar. You can see how the habitats are separated from each other. 
It's a jaguar's indoor habitat. So since the jaguar is outside, not going to be in the habitat. All right, I can see some spotted hyena. Oh wow! These poor things were villainized in the Lion King movies. Next up, we got a mer tiger. Wearing their stripes. All right, so this is a tiger's indoor habitat. Really, really nice looking habitat. Exotic cats do not make good pets. Got the cat's pajamas. Next up, we got Serval. Oh, they're really, really nice habitat. Let's see if I see one. I'm looking all over for the serval. He's right down here. What a pretty kitty. Very kitty. You know, very pretty meow meow. Got cheetahs. Where in the world? So we got two of them in here. What a gorgeous animal. Oh, come on over to say hi, everybody. That's where the term catwalk came from. Yeah. On the catwalk. All right, we got African lion. Oh, wow. Some gorgeous kitty cats. All right, we got snow leopard. Another fantastic habitat. Snow leopard's right inside of the log. Looks like it's having its lunch. You see the bone. Oh, he's eating. He's eating. Oh, he is. So this is a new one. Got spectacular adaptions. You can take your time. We're not in any rush. Yeah. Watching me. Scared us. All right, we got red panda. A little more information. A couple of them walking around. There we go. So cute. Other ones napping. Yeah, I do, I do! Oh, yeah, we got a myrrh or Siberian tiger. Yeah, they're Alright, so the tiger is outside. Oh, awesome. Great. Just relaxing. Have a nice cat nap. So if you come here, you don't see the animal inside, come outside. That's most likely where they're going to be. All right, we got Greater Kudu. Water Buck. All right, so those other animals are not out here. However, there is one single zebra. I like seeing the zebras. 
Nice thing is that I don't get to see the zebras behind. What's up, sweetheart? You can see the lions just on the other side. You see they actually cannot get to this other habitat because it is separated. Okay, so African white pelican. Black crown crane. African ground hornbill. Cinnamus vulture. And we also got Thompson's gazelle. There we go, Thompson's gazelle, vulture. Get one of the workers in there. Black crown crane. So the great crown crane earlier. Pelicans in the water. And cheetah habitat right up above. A hippopotamus. So hippopotamus has a good sized habitat. Go check around the side. Got keeping cool. I'm hungry, hungry hippos. I played that game when I was a kid. You go check out Hippo Haven. All right, we got a nice underwater view, and I do see the hippo under the water. Got under the surface. Big talkers. All right, so a group of hippos is called a bloat of hippos. Oh, it's a big old hippo. Wow. I don't want to get another angle because that was just a hippo butt, and uh, you don't want to say big old hippo butt. Oh, there he goes. He's moving. Needs air. Yep, stick your snout up, get some air. Oh, there you go. Breathe in. Yeah. And then be back underwater again. Here we go. Oh the hippo is a life force of African rivers. Get a purification station. Gotta imagine it takes a lot to keep all that water clean. Especially if the hippo is uh, pooing in the water. I'm sure it does. Now well, we got the family farm. Got bantam chicken. Chickies. Well, wow, look like they're wearing shoes. The feathers on their feet. Buck, buck, buck. Buck, buck, buck. So these are baby cows. Hi, Mamoos. Man, the one on the left looks just like my dog, Cow, at home, because he looks just like a cow. Got the black and white, just like the cow. Got the dairy complex. Lots of different cow breeds. Got black and white Holstein, Jersey cow, Ayrshire, red and white Holstein, Trying to get a view for you. All the cows are out back. It's all different moo cows. Hi, moo! I feel bad I don't know the cow's real name. All right, back up on the front. You got Sky Venture zip line and rope courses. This is their price. This is an upcharge. A lot of zoos I have been to now include something similar to this. Little added activity. Showing the map again. I'm right back up front at the main entrance. So again, I'm gonna go and check out the train station, get a ride on the train. All right, got the safari train station. Tickets are four dollars. All right, got my train ticket. All right, so I didn't get on this train. I'll be on the next one. The way they're doing it, once this train leaves, the second train pulls in. So there are two trains running. So that definitely ups the capacity. All right, here we go. On the safari.
safari train. And there was only a few animals that I missed, depending on how the weather is. Once I get off the train, that's going to determine whether or not I'm going to be able to do any rewalk at all. Very few animals that I miss. Ooh, sorry. Just hit the tripod with my wrist. This is a fantastic zoo.
embarrassing. <laughs> the train station you got the carousel see zoo carousel so not just horses got some other animals and they always find stationary benches ooh dragon tiger zebra the carousel is three dollars per ride all right so i am back up front where i first came in so this concludes my initial walkthrough of the Milwaukee County Zoo in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Fantastic place, like I was saying on the train. There was only a few animals that I didn't see the first time. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go back and see everything that I might have missed, but I'm gonna try right now. All right, so I came back to Tommy the orangutan. <laughs> Uh, looks like he's got access to go outside now. Yeah, because Alexander's inside now. So Tommy has access to be outside. Columbus monkeys are inside now. Got a lot better look of them. Got super long tails. All right, so we are getting some rain now. Light rain, but 
still rain. All right, I came back to the elk. First time coming through, they were just laying down the tall grass. Another one further in the back. Back at the grizzly bear. All right, back behind a small mammal building, you got Journey to Ice Age. This is an upcharge of four dollars. Or I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do this. I'll see you later on if I have time. All right, I came back to a small animal building because I missed a fennec fox this morning. So I came back and here's a fennec fox. Are super cute, super cute and fuzzy. Those big giant ears. There's the second one. He's having a little snack. Having a snack. All right, one of the other animals that I missed this morning was the bush baby. And I actually see one now. There we go. That's the bush baby. Oh, the guys. What a super cute critter. Back at the cotton top tamarin. It's like both are in the same habitat now. Another look at the goldish monkey. Also super cute. Very, very cute. Looks like a tamarin, but it's called a monkey. A lot better view of the prep boat squirrel. I do you like squirrels? It'd be really cool to see something like this in my yard. But I just got gray squirrels near me. All right, so one of the animals I did not see this morning and I still do not see was the agouti. Everybody was in here with the two-toed sloth. So ringtail lemur is still outside. A little bit better view. Actually, I don't even think I saw him this morning. Came back to the jaguar and this beautiful cat is right here next to the window. Wow. It's very comfortable. Bang inside the spotted hyenas. Actually, really cool looking animals. Back inside, bird tiger. Oh, nice and close now. Yes, the tiger was outside. Another beautiful big cat. Also came back to the serval. In another box, but it looks like the serval is having its lunch or dinner. There we go. Of course, right back at the cheetahs. It's weird, suddenly I'm getting a uh, hunger for cheetahs. Don't know why. Area completely missed. My first time through was the Birch Creek Trailhead. Okay, so this area here is the evening habitat for the hippopotamus. This is the evening habitat for the Simtar Horned Oryx. Back at the giraffe. When I left, it's kind of standard like a statue. Got a centaur horned orax. All right, go centaur horned orax. I honestly don't remember if I saw them my first time through. Yeah, if I did, this is a great view of them. 
Hey everybody! Got this peacock just wandering around. So I got places to go and uh, popcorn to eat. Just came back to Red River Hogs because we're up moving around now. Very cute looking hog. I know, I was saying that. Sniffing something. There's the other one. Sniffy, sniffy, sniffy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one last look at the pelicans. Got the other birds, got the vultures, black crown crane. And I came back to see the moo moos. Got the black and white Holstein. And there's a Jersey cow. And no, that doesn't mean it's from Jersey Shore. Tilly missed these chickens the first time through. Orpington chicken and Wyandotte chicken. Hey chickies! I love chickens. And that don't mean it is, uh, as tenders. Actual live chickens just like these guys. Hey chicken! Yeah, what's up? How you guys doing? You're pretty chickens, huh? Pretty chickens. Alright, so I'm showing them out one last time. So I tried to do everything and show you everything. The only thing I missed, I just didn't have time to do, was the the area right here. Which is a specialty exhibit. Alright, so we exit into the zoo shop. All right, so this is the same gift shop where I got my hat when I first got here. So there's lots of clothing. Zoos are very popular with kids. So there's going to be a good portion of the gift shop geared towards the kill, you know, kids stuff. Lots and lots of plush. Kid size shirts. Again, this is where I got my hat. All right, right in the front entry building, you got Flamingo Cafe. Plenty of indoor seating. This is just behind the Stone Creek Coffee. We do have restroom locations over here. All right, everybody, this is going to wrap up my visit to the Milwaukee County Zoo in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Had a fantastic time. There were just a few other animals that I didn't get to see. Ones that were not on habitat for some reason, like where the zebra was, came back. And the other animals that I listed earlier were not in habitat. So, various reasons. Not really sure why. There was no signage for the actual zebra itself. So anyway, leave some comments down below what your favorite zoo animal was that I saw today. Maybe even something that I showed you and I didn't get to see the animal. Again, there was only a few that I missed. So if you like zoos, aquariums, I go to places like this all over the country. Uh, I also do theme parks, amusement parks, roadside attractions, uh, state and national parks, all sorts of stuff in between. I upload new videos every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're interested in any of that, check out my channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.